Y'all, I tried on so many pairs of cargo trousers. I felt like I was cosplaying as Kim Possible, like they were too cargo-y. I simply put the trousers on, put the matching top on, and all my problems are immediately solved. It's fun, the print is cute. It still has that utility pocket vibe going on. Very much a modern twist um on the cargo trends hey welcome back to now trending where we road test the fashion trends you've been favoriting make sure you subscribe to cosmo uk where you can see more videos like this hey i'm maddie i'm the shopping editor at cosmo uk and i look after all things fashion and style Hi, I'm Alex, I'm Cosmopolitan UK's fashion writer. So I work on all the digital fashion content on site from what your favorite celebrities are wearing right now to all the trends you need to know and shop. Hi, I'm Lauren Nicole. I'm the contributing Curve editor at Cosmopolitan UK and I'm responsible for all of the Curve and Plus Size related content. Today, we are trying the cargo trend. Now, there is no denying this trend is everywhere at the moment. I've seen cargo jackets, cargo tops, cargo dresses, the whole shebang all on the high street and my Instagram feed. Now, this is a trend that I actually haven't tried before. I know, shock horror, um, but I'm really excited to try this trend. Anytime a trend comes back around that I wore as a kid, something about it, it, it kind of tends to give me the ick. So I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one. We'll see. But as a shopping editor, I know that it's definitely gonna continue into the autumn winter season. I have given in and I will be trying out a good old pair of cargo trousers, specifically this pair from Whistles. This is a really nice color um, and a little bit different for me. So I'm excited to give that a try. And instead of the pockets down the side, we have these little tie details. The other reason I love this Whistles pair is because it comes with a matching top. Those ties that had that we had on the trousers are also on the sides of the top. This skirt from ASOS, it's a mini skirt, so it's a definitely, it's definitely a take on the cargo trend. Um, it's fun, the print is cute, it still has that utility pocket vibe going on, but as I say, it's very much a modern twist um on the cargo trend drum roll please ta-da these guys from nobody's child really affordable um they are absolutely a cargo trouser with the flat pockets at the knees but the whole shape is just kind of streamlined y'all i tried on so many pairs of cargo trousers trying to find ones that i felt confident in all the ones that i tried that I ended up not liking. There was something about them that was a little bit extreme. Like either they're, they were really distressed or faded. There were loads of zippers with like hanging zipper pulls on them. And kind of in all of them, I felt like I was cosplaying as Kim Possible. Like they were too cargo-y, they were too cargo-y. But for this trend, I was like, I think I'm only gonna love it if I do the most kind of simple paired back version of it. So that's what I did. Okay, so I have the full cargo outfit on. Um, and I think for people like me who are a little bit hesitant about trying this out, a co-op set is definitely a great place to start. I didn't have to worry about what to style it with. I simply put the trousers on, put the matching top on, and all my problems are immediately solved. It also gives you opportunity later down the line when you feel a little bit more confident to try the top with a pair of jeans or the trousers with a plain white tee or a tank top, which could be really cute. And it's got more minimal um, details like those tie sides and I don't know if you can see on the trousers here I've tied all those cuffs um, including the bottom which you can kind of tighten uh, and do a cinched hem which is good if you are petite like me you don't have to worry about trousers being too long you can cinch it right to your ankle and you don't have to worry about tripping over your hems. Before I get dressed I have some Pandora pieces okay let's see what we've got first I'm going to start off with these gorgeous hoops I absolutely love layering necklaces, so I'm going to layer these necklaces. This is such a sweet charm to me. Um, obviously, I've got my zodiac sign. I think that this here just adds a really nice detail and gives a little bit more dimension rather than having everything that's kind of like on the same level. Okay, so this is my wrist. Absolutely love how this is looking. 
looks so cute and fun. I wear gold and silver, but I feel like I'm firmly in my silver era right now. So I've stacked up some bracelets and these are their new lab grown diamonds. How pretty are they? Two little necklaces and then my earrings. I have been loving kind of the layered chain look at the moment. So I've added just a little sparkly choker and then contrast it with some chunky uh, kind of heavier classic chains. Um, which I think looks really nice. I've got some bracelets, added some rings, and I'm just gonna add in these little huggy hoops with these delicate pearl charms next to just classic Diamante huggies there. And I think that really adds to kind of that elevated aesthetic that I've been talking about. And here is the finished look. I have my sunglasses on from Flatless, my bag from Zara, I've got some new balance trainers on and a basic white tee. And I think we are good for the day. Here we go, finished look. So we've got the cargos from Nobody's Child, the sheer blouse from Paige, my trench coat is from Align, one of my favorite British brands, uh, bag from Kate Spade, and fun boots from Olympus. And that's it. And I feel happy with this. This is very in line with something I would wear to the office, wear to work. Um, or to see a friend. I was really struggling with the trend at first, but I feel like going with like a, a streamlined pair and a streamlined color palette is helping me feel like that's an approachable way to wear the trend that also feels very different to how I would have worn it when I was a kid or a teenager, um, wearing like ultra low rise cargos from Abercrombie and Fitch, which is a, I mean, it's a vibe. It, it was a look, but I'm, wanted something that felt a little different today. So all I'm gonna do is add some chunky sandals um, and then those go to festival essentials. We are talking sunglasses and a bum bag. I will check back in later and let you know how I'm getting on. Just arrived home from my last meeting of today and I will definitely say I've received so many compliments on my Pandora pieces. I am so in love. Um, I'm still not 100% sure on this trend yet but let's see how I'm feeling by the final verdict. Okay, I just left my first meeting and so far so good. I feel really comfortable in the outfit and um, yeah, I like it. It doesn't feel out of place. I'm glad that I like kept trying and like found a pair of cargos that don't feel like I'm cosplaying. <laughs> Okay, so we are a few hours in. I am loving my cargo outfit. Um, they're a nice, uh, light, breathable material, which I think is good for this sunny weather. But when the sun goes behind the clouds and it gets a little breezy, I still feel quite covered. I've seen a few other people at the festival wearing similar cargo styles. Uh, one person had a pair of cargo jeans on that were really cool, but I definitely think this is the right way to style the trend for me. Um, yeah, I'm loving the outfit, so I will check back in for a final verdict later, but all positive so far. I am back from my day, and I think I did a full 180 on this trend. I was honestly not convinced at the beginning, and but purely because I just couldn't find a pair of cargos that I liked and felt like liked on myself and felt comfortable in. But I think the formula of wearing like a simple, like sticking to a neutral color palette, sticking to one color of jewelry, um, picking really streamlined shapes, helped it feel not like a relic from my childhood and more just like a modern everyday outfit with like a, like a subtle trend update. So yeah, it gets a yes for me, but I am surprised, I did surprise myself. And final verdict, Unfortunately, this is neither yay or nay. I kind of sit right in the middle. I love this skirt and the skirt is definitely a yay, but the overall trend doesn't necessarily feel like something that's very me or something that I would lean towards time and time again. I think it's cool, it's a vibe, I like this skirt, but I'm definitely not going to be running to buy some more cargo pieces, that's for sure. Okay, so I just got home and I think the final verdict is a win for the cargos. I think for me personally, a more feminine style of cargo without those kind of heavy utilitarian features like the pockets is probably best just because I am so petite. Um, but I definitely would wear this outfit again and I'd be keen to try and style the pieces separately as well. I think it's definitely 
a summer outfit though is what I will say simply because with these cuffed hems I think you are more limited when it comes to winter shoe options but um all in all very good and I really think the Pandora Jewels made the final look so thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video and make sure to subscribe to Cosmo UK to see more videos like this.